I have covered uh, so far the uh, J-Hope, Sugar, RM, and Jungle. You know, I still haven't been able to upload video for Sugar. This guy, I, I don't know. He, I'm thinking he must be really, really, really picky kind of, he, you, you know, he had, when he does those, when, excuse me, I'm tired. <laughs> when he does those things, everything, everything has to be perfect. And I just, I think he's very articulate. And this is just energetical influence that is affecting my video. You, you know, he's very powerful a uh, person who generates this energy that that um, affects my reading it's just amazing so I still haven't been uploading uploaded his video it's uh, still uploading if it fails again I don't know I'll have to wait and see now this is for Jimin and uh, Jimin seems to have a lot of a uh, you know, admirers and I mean, all of them are liked, but I don't know. They just, uh, this guy uh, has that special charm that, so if you are not really a, uh, you know, person who listens to um, music and stuff, this is for Libra, sign of Libra. I cover astrology and also tarot reading. I am not an expert in astrology, but I did learn astrology a while back and, um, you know, it just was very complicated in the end. It just kind of, I got bored. Not because it was a boring subject, it's because my personality and astrology, astrology you have to be very methodical, very articulate, very, uh, you know, calculating. Uh, be able to put things in perspective and it just there it involves a lot and I'm one of those people kind of uh, you know just I'm not that methodical you know I'm not really uh, articulate I, I don't think I am I'm just I am I do a lot of things based on the feelings that's why I am clairsentient person when gut feeling tells me this is it and that's what it is about people about things about the events about the facts about i do so many things almost everything based on my gut feeling and i have not been too wrong you know so tarot card reading is really a good pursuit for me but I had to learn astrology to enhance my tarot reading skills. And I've done, you know, basics and stuff. But anyway, uh, cut to the chase. For the Libra people out there, Jimin is Libra. And uh, the ruler of the Libra planet is a Venus. Now that kind of explains why he is the way he is. This uh, Venus makes people really great lovers, you know, but they are also very fond of expensive and material stuff, which I bet he loves to dress up like a real pretty outfit. I mean, these guys are dressed up by their coordinators and I'm sure they have dressers, all that, but Personally, Jimin probably likes to dress up and likes to buy nice things, you know, pretty things. And their lives need to be enriched by music. All of these guys, they have these musical talents by natal sign. And art and beautiful places they get a chance to visit. I mean, this is all Libra traits. So if you are Libra out there, you might want to listen to this too. And Libras are peaceful, fair, and uh, they hate being alone. 
It's something about Libra people. I mean, I can tell you about this with my experience. Every Libras that I know, they hate being alone at all costs. They want to be with people. They want to be surrounded by people. They want to go to church. They want to go to temple. They want to go to gatherings. They want to go to community meetings. They want to be surrounded by people constantly. They cannot stand being alone. See, I'm Scorpio. I like being alone. I like my time uh, a lot to myself. And I'm fine with that. But Libras are totally opposite from that. And um, to Libras, partnership is very important for them. These people are fascinated by balance and symmetry. And that the consistency and harmony is also very important. See, to me, it's not. So it's just wonderful. It's a really beautiful trait, you know, for someone to have. And they just, what I know about them is they just hate to rock the boat. I mean, almost all of them are like that. It's amazing. They will, uh, you know, do everything to keep the peace and the balance and try to make, make people happy. And they'll just stay quiet. But watch out. You don't want to push them too much. If you do that, then they will blow up one day, you know? I haven't seen them blowing up, really. But I'm just saying, most people who are like that, you have to have a little bit of exit, you know? You have to have a little bit of uh, steam to blow up some sometime. I, I mean, I'm thinking. So, um, there's a kind of, uh, they are in a constant chase for justice and equality. So they, they have to have that equality in their lives. This is someone ready to do anything to avoid conflict. I know that. And they, avoid, they want to avoid conflict. Keeping the peace whenever possible. And they also will be inspired by good books, insurmountable discussions. They love to talk about things that, you know, and uh, they have a lot to say. They truly have a lot to say, and they are very talkative. But they like to be in peace. You don't, they don't like arguments and confrontations. I love confrontations. I don't know if I love it, but I think Scorpio's, are challenged like they they tend to be intensive and you know they they don't mind challenge but these people don't like a challenge they just oh no they run when they see sign of confrontation they run it's like no you can't have it all so their strength is very cooperative now you see they did cooperative because they want to keep the peace right and they're diplomatic gracious fair-minded they are very social. And their weakness, indecisive. Oh my gosh, yes, they are indecisive. They avoid confrontation. Every one of them that I know, they are like that. If you know someone that who are not, then they have different kind of aspects on their chart when they were born. Uh, they will carry a grudge, see? Because they stifle so much to keep the peace, so they will hold a grudge. And they feel self-pity because they always feel they are kind of a victimized a little bit. Like, why do I have to suffer all the time? I have to tolerate all this, you know? See, this is their, uh, you know, exit uh, in, in their little heart that they have to do that. They have to do that. And their likes is they love harmony and they are gentle and... They like to share things with others. They love outdoors too. They love being out there. And then they hate violence or they just hate violence. And they don't like injustice. They do not like people who have a loud mouth. I don't think they even would like me. Although I get along really well with most Libras, 
it's because we are kind of a, you know, different. And I haven't had trouble with the Libras at all. So, I mean, I am loud mouth. I speak things the way it is, but maybe it's a little different. Uh, they tend to kind of uh, laugh at me a lot, you know, when I say things. And also they like to conform. See, I'm rebellious. These people like to conform. So maybe that's why I like the Libras, you know. I mean, I like everyone, but uh, Libras are kind of... Um, you know, buy the books kind of people. And they don't like to break the rules. Uh, so I pick out five cards for Jimin. And of course, this is only few aspects, maybe one aspect of his life. He also has a big opportunity offered to him, like a new product, new uh, video, new uh, something new that he will, uh, you know, I, I wonder if he also will have some kind of business on, on a side that he's definitely going to have a new start or something you know, something new, something like a business or venture, uh, open up. I don't think it will be a store, but he has an opportunity. And he needs to, uh, next year, he may, he may have small uh, chance that... Um, there might be a little bit of gossip about him. And, uh, he, you know, he may have to tackle that because I don't know why, but somehow people must be really jealous of him because he he's a, lo I mean, a great dancer. And I'm sure there are a lot of people are jealous of these wonderful boys, but he seems to gather all that. Um, you know, he, there's someone who is out to get him, almost like he talks badly about him and he says bad things. And, um, you know, that he may have to uh, deal with a little bit of headache, uh, which will make him kind of a uh, paranoid. But... It's not a huge issue because these are, again, minor arcana. So I don't think that's a serious I mean, he's got something really big in major arcana. This is more important. Major arcana is, a, you know, has to do with life-changing events or spiritual uh, experiences. But these are like day-to-day -day, uh, events. So it's not something big. And... Um, then, uh, after all that said and done, he is going to get what he wants anyway. He will be greatly satisfied with outcome of his business and this issue as well. That's going to be tackled and handled real, uh, you know, satisfactory. Uh, I mean, he, he's going to be very satisfied. So he has nothing to worry about. It's just that it's just like a pain in the ass, you know, situation. It's just someone spreading some vicious gossip, you know. I mean, these people are famous. So famous people gather some vicious flies, you know. So anyway, I, I just wanted to put this out there too for Jimin. And um, next I'm going to cover Jean. See you later then.